So here I am to make a video today about my guitar collection. And it's going to be fun. Watch this. This is my Ibanez 470 left-handed BLK. It's made in 1993, I could tell, because I learned how to read guitar serial numbers. Just so I could see how old my guitars are. But anywho, this guitar has been with me through a lot. I got this the second year I was playing guitar. It was for graduating grade 8. I've been playing guitar for 13 years. So, um, for the longest thing at time, I got bored of just the flat black. So I'm like, I need to put something on this. So I did the paint job myself. I'm very inspired by, like, H.P. Lovecraft and Salvador Dali. As you could tell by the next guitar. Alright, here's the second guitar. This is my Schecter JLV-7. Once again, got kind of bored with the flat black, so I did my own paint job on this. This guitar has been with me through so much. It's, of course, a little road-worn, but I love it. Uh, this is from 2011, this guitar model. Uh, two EMGs on it. Uh, this guitar I used to take walking with me everywhere, and the neck is still straight. It barely warped at all. This thing's a fucking trooper. I have been through so much with this guitar. This guitar has such a long story to it. More so than any of my newer guitars. This one, however, will always remain a personal favorite. This is one of two guitars I got at the same time. It is a Schecter beginner class model, the SGR C1, with, of course, uh, the Schecter design pickups. And it's got a whole bunch of meme stuff on it, too. Um story about this is I called, I'm like, do you have any lefties in there? And they're like, yeah, they got this guitar and just this guitar. So I took a cab over to get it and I got the next guitar too. Um, for tunings, by the way, that first guitar, the Ibanez, I go in drop C and I go half step down on the seven string, either do the lowest string B flat or I do the drop tuning which is G sharp for like periphery. This one I have in drop D. Ugh. But that's because I just got the afterburner tab book by Dance Gavin Dance and I gotta do it. This is the red guy who matches my hat by the way. Um, this guitar was that surprise guitar. I look up after I go to grab that Schecter SGR guitar. I'm like, dude, you were hiding this one for me? I saw this bugger hanging up there for like 200 bucks and I got it. So, this thing, I will never change the color of it. I will never do anything to the face of this guitar because that red is actually pretty neat. It's the only guitar besides my Ibanez with a kind of trim system. I don't even use the tram system on the Ibanez. So this guitar I have tuned to either drop B or C sharp standard. Because uh, I love to play Selkies by Between the Bay and me. And I get to do the whammy bar stuff. Also with like Veil of Maya stuff. I love doing Veil of Maya stuff. One more thing about that red guitar. It was also uh, 1989. This here is a Squire Butterscotch Telly. Now, I got this from a very good friend of mine. And, uh, yeah. I'm, I've always wanted a Telly because of, like, John 5 and stuff. Also, everybody, all the old guys used to have one. Uh, it's a little pre-worn too, but it's also worn for me too a little bit. Gotta have that wear. Gotta have that relicking. But yeah, this thing I have tuned to 
nice, it's still in tune. I have it tuned to C standard, or I drop it to drop A flat. But yeah, um, I found that I really like the sound of C tuning, like standard tuning with single coils, so that's why I have it on this guitar. And this guitar tunes very low, but it's also my shortest scale. It's the only guitar I have with 21 frets. Ugh, I love doing that, like, movie magic guitar switch stuff. But anywho. Um, this is my latest guitar. This is my Legator uh, Flamingo Pink 8th String. The... The N8FP. There we go. Yeah, the N8FP. Um, these have like their version of like a Fishman Flutens pickup. I love it. I got this thing tuned to drop E, but who doesn't do that with their 8 string when they first get it? Um, but my thoughts when I first got this guitar like not too long ago was it was literally the easiest thing to break into I had never played an 8 string before this guitar but this guitar made it easy I have become one with it oh yeah people wearing headphones but yeah this is my uh this is now like my number one guitar Along with that 7 string, I, I like using extended range guitars because I got such massive hands. Pretty much like it just makes everything instantly heavier and it makes your chords deeper. And that's what I always wanted about the 8 string. Now, you'll probably hear some more from me coming soon, so stay tuned.